Okay, good morning everyone. I was just out for a very short ride. Short but intense ride. Uh, you know, MCO restrictions, everything's still ongoing, so I haven't been out much. No long distance events, no cycling. You know, with the limit of 10 kilometers uh, from your home, there's really not much ground you can cover. So, most of the time I've been riding indoors. Today's one of the very rare times that I'm actually out because I want to give this Sony ZV-1 or ZV-1 depending on which region you are from another try so the last time I gave this camera a try found out that it had actually not very good uh, camera stabilization and, and then later on I found out that this camera actually has what you call gyro sensors Basically, it can record uh, the movement of the camera and save all that movement in the video. And then you can use a software called Sony Catalyst Browse to stabilize the video in software. There are only two caveats to that which I found out on, in, on the net. First is you have to turn off all the standard stabilization. So downside of that is of course you don't know how well your footage turned out until you go home and try to stabilize it second thing is what's the second thing oh yeah in order for this uh, gyro stabilization to work best you need a high shutter speed to eliminate motion blur so the problem there of course in video your shutter speed has to match your video frame rate I mean not match lah, I mean it has to be a certain uh, rate but basically a high shutter speed is usually not that good for video it makes the video feel choppy so combined with stabilization I don't know how this is going to turn out I'm only going to find out when I go home later and put it in Catalyst Browse so let's hope this turns out good I well, still have people riding out which is good I have to say, hill sprints are not fun. After just three repeats, completely winded. Anyway, that's the end of the ride today. I'm gonna go home, check the footage, and hope everything turns out well. Whew. So, only 18.5 kilometers, but an intensity factor of 0 0.978. Yeah. How's that for a very hard, short but hard ride? Okay, so now we are back. Uh, these are the clips that I've taken. Not that much, but this is just us mainly to test this gyro stabilization in Sony Catalyst Browse. So we are looking at the interface now, and this little uh, icon up here on each of these clips will uh, means that the camera has recorded gyro stabilization information inside the I mean in the movie file itself so not many uh, Sony cameras actually support this thing so um, cameras like the ZV-1, the RX-0 Mark II a uh, couple more I'll put a list somewhere which you can refer to but anyway uh, let's get this started so uh, from here, I'm going to go to stabilize and it's going to analyze and give me an automatic or suggested prop. Usually, this is not very good, so I go to manual and from here, I can actually choose the level of prop. Now, because this is digital stabilization, you are definitely going to have a crop. It's you have to choose how much to lose and the more you crop typically the better the stabilization is but I find that normally value somewhere between 85% to 90% will work so once you've got your value you can like give it a preview and you can see there's a big difference here between uh, no stabilization on the left and stabilize on the right yeah so this looks kind of good if I'm not that satisfied I can crop a little bit more maybe 88% down to 85% 
It's actually 86.9 and looks slightly better but of course you lose more because of the crop. Anyway, once I'm done, here is the export. Uh, I'm just going to hit export and this will produce a stabilized video file. Unfortunately, there's something up with this uh, Catalyst Browse. I have run into out of memory issues uh, even on my uh, graphics card with 4 gigs of video RAM. Uh, I think this is uh, because I'm recording in very high quality 4K videos, but 4 gigs normally should be enough for this, so maybe it's just a bug. Uh, if you do try this with your Sony camera, do let me know how the exporting works. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna export the rest of the clips and then uh, bring them into the video editor and see how they turn out. Okay, so um, seems like the stabilization it's a lot better than using the built-in stabilization of the camera but there's still occasional glitches I don't know like if you notice some parts there were these weird jumps in the clip no idea why but I guess that's the risk with uh, using the gyro stabilization techniques uh, you can't really tell until you come home and loaded everything up in your computer and notice issues uh, still I guess this means it this camera still uh, doesn't beat GoPro GoPro's hyper spoof uh, technology is still very impressive for a little uh, camera the ZV1 I well I guess it has users especially when it comes to just taking pictures or when you're not on the bike and you're just vlogging but otherwise uh, GoPro is still king on the bike. Anyway, yeah, that's today's video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you next time. Bye.